So I got a puppy one year, and uh, I, was, I told my dad I wanted a puppy, and he was like, sure. And he put it in a PlayStation box, and I opened it, and it was dead. And I thought, oh, maybe I could pass this off as a stuffed puppy, you yeah, know. But you can't fun. pass it off as stuff with the blood and the guts, and you try to play with it. Then the blood and the guts get on the carpet, and that doesn't come out. So you get on your hands and knees, Joey. Get on your hands and knees. You sit <laughs> You don't blot, you rub, you rub, you rub. So you don't you blot. You, you, you can't pick all that up because the blood and the guts is just wait. all. Shut up. Time out. I thought you said you blot, but you blot. You blot, yes. But the, you can't get enough. The blood of the. You got itsy little pieces of blood and guts in the carpet from the puppy, and you try to pass it off, and you're scarred for life. So anyway, yes, I had a dead puppy, and you fling it around by its umbilical cord. That doesn't work. So then you have to wait. Did your puppies don't have an umbilical cord? They could. And then, you grab, and then you grab it by the tail, your and you try to. Ever think of getting you like Ritalin or something? Shut up. You, you grab it by the tail, and you try to use it as a bot bag, but that won't work either. So I'm scarred for life. Anyway, Ron, you have plenty of puppies. Still. Okay, so I was uh, we were we were used. Let me see. We were married, but not for very long. So she, for one That's what happens when you go to Vegas. She kept hinting that she wanted a puppy. I know this because I got on the laptop, all of a sudden there's a picture of a puppy as my background. And it's got to be a miniature Dotson. So I'm in Georgia. I call people in Houston, everywhere to get to find this puppy. I finally find a puppy. I have to drive to Brian. I take leave, come to Texas, drive to the place where the puppy is. So I just get this puppy, drive it back to my parents' house. I put a little red bow on this tiny little puppy, and then Chris is upstairs, and I pack this puppy, just the puppy and a red bow. How adorable. Just get the cuteness right, yeah. back right. I call Krista down. She's like, honey, you know. She comes down, she sees the puppy, she's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> she's grabbing the puppy, <laughs> loving on the puppy, and my mom's like, oh, well, if we're giving gifts, Krista, let me go and give you my gift. <laughs> no, it's a KitchenAid mixer. Yeah. <laughs> right? She throws the puppy. Oh. <laughs> So you borderline, you see the kids are you're like, so we've established and she just starts Chris, crying over this kitchen. So we've established they're puppy killers. Just okay, freaking out over this kitchen and mixer, like, I cannot I believe. No. <laughs> you got me a mixer. And I'm like, the put me in the puppy are just sitting there just. What do we do now? We have the mixer, we don't have the puppy. <laughs> see, I have a funny puppy story too. One time I had this puppy, oh crap, huh? it's dead. Anyway, it's not funny. Anyway, I also have a joke, uh, a really cool joke, if, uh, if anyone would like to hear it. So I'm going to tell, tell the joke, alright Chris? What? Did you, are you making fun of me? No, right, anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna tell the joke. I'm gonna tell the joke. I didn't even say anything. I'm going to tell the joke, and it's going to be funny. No, it's not. And Chris, what I'm going to need you to do is when I, when I point to you, I need you to go, like the rib shot. Alright? So anyway, um... <laughs> All right, so when I point to you, do that kadunchi, all right? So anyway, there was this uh, married couple, right? And they were taking an, uh, and they had hired an English tutor to come to their house and tutor them. And so the English tutor gets there one day, and he's like, all right, I'm going to tell you two something very important. Huh? No, that's not the joke. When I point to you, I need you to go kadunchi. He's like, I'm going to tell you two something very important. He says, there are two words you must never ever use in the English language. He goes, English and language. You are like screwing up the whole flow of the joke here. Now I gotta start over. Anyway, no. He says there are two words. <laughs> he says there are two words you two must never ever use in the English language. The first one is lousy, the second one is swell. And the guy says, well give us the lousy one first. Didink. Anyway, we'll be right back with more uh, of my uh, the Just the Never show right after these. Okay, am I on? Yeah. That's my hand. Anyway, oh hello everyone. I'm doing a little impromptu vlog here. Um, so Chris, uh, I mean we're we're going to uh, Austin to do some uh, some. We're gonna do our comedy show on ice. It's gonna be really fun. So Chris. How do you feel about doing comedy on ice, which is what we're about to do? Dangerous. Da it is a little dangerous, yeah. Hopefully uh, no one will, will uh, slip when they hear a joke or something. Yeah, but we're going to be going to Austin, Texas, uh, which is the home of the uh, the That's hamburger that uh, goes around killing people. Because uh, in Austin they have this hamburger who goes around killing people. He's like, I'm going to kill you if you don't eat me. So it's he's like weird, psychotic. Anyway, but yeah, we're going to be doing our comedy. Gonna I'm gonna be, we're gonna be doing our comedy on ice. This is gonna be really fun. And uh, before we do, I just got this little bit of news here. Did you guys hear this? Um, Miley Cyrus and uh, her boyfriend Liam Hemsworth have currently called it quits. Yeah, she said uh, it's just not twerking. It's not anyway, twerking. So uh, yeah. <laughs> that is thank good. You. That one's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, that's gonna be one of the bits I'll be doing anyway. So it's so sad, but like you know, it's funny. It's just not, almost everywhere we go with like like everybody, yeah. it's always comedy. 
Yeah. Because I try to make it that way. <laughs> anyway, especially with my impressions, like this one. Why don't you get the way from me, don't get? That's the worst <laughs> Joey, who asked you? Anyway, but I'll be doing lots. I'll be doing impressions on ice too. It's gonna be hard because I don't really balance that well and everything. And last time I was on some ice, it involved a penguin, a two-year-old, and a and a gunfire. So we don't want to go through that again. Because <laughs> I'm gonna have some lawyers barking up the wrong tree. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, tis the season to be merry, right, Chris? Oh yeah. <laughs> So, um, anyway, you can cut it off for now. We'll come back with more. Uh, funny, thanks for wasting three seconds of my time. Anyway, uh, funny, uh, I thought of something cool, you guys. What if we had pool ministry? Like, you know, we have church in a swimming pool. And, hey, we wouldn't have to worry about baptizing, right? We're right there already. So that'd be us. That's a step up, you know. And, you know, the preacher stands on the diving board, and we all just kind of be in the water. And, plus, didn't the disciples wade in the water? So, yeah, that makes sense. But wouldn't it be cool? That, what do you think? That's I think that'd ministry, be cool. And we call it pool ministry. We swim. Get money. Anyway, we're having a, a white rap battle back there. Anyway, ah. more like vanilla. Vanilla Thunder can take the rock to the hole. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's my rap name. Hey, no, don't so anyway, <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be cool though to have swim oh, ministry? Yeah. Yeah. Just be like, be like that. You know? Yeah. Okay. And I mean, everyone would get cool exercise, and, and the the pastor could be like, wade in the water, children, wade in the water, there, shark in the water, it don't come out the water. That'd be cool. Um, but you like that idea? Yeah. I like your phone here. Is this Rita's? I know, right? Or is this yours? Yes. It's yours. I love this little bedazzled diamond thing. That's right. Uh, this Christmas, you can pick up a GT4 iPhone 5 600, and it's uh, right, right there under your tree. Let's go to uh, Johnson with our weather. Hello, I'm Johnson. We have a uh, high 50s to low 40s in the in the high 30s right now. We have a bunch of precipitation coming in, but don't worry, it'll dry up right away, and uh, we'll see clear cloudy foggy skies later and then uh, as we move on into the night we're gonna have uh, more coldness so get those uh, blankets in the uh, closet right now and lock it up because it's gonna be super freezing tonight just just an show has been canceled. Uh, that is up that is up to Bravo the Bravo Network not you thank you anyway it has to be canceled it's up to Andy Cohen yes but yes him yes anyway um, let's get back to our Yay. weather. Okay. Anyway, so right now it's it's clear foggy and uh, we're gonna have the mid to high 40s later tonight. So make sure you wanna uh, cover up and be safe, put on plenty of layers. And uh, as we move on in, it's gonna be a very snowy Christmas as it rains the rest of the day. All right, back to you, Justin. Yeah. How can it be a snowy Christmas if you You know what, I don't know. I, I'm a new weather man, I'm working out the kinks. You said two different things of weather. They know what I mean. Anyway, great, great job there, weather man. Isn't he cool? He's brand new. We should give him a hand. That's right. I quit this coverage. <laughs> Shut up. You know, I was lifting a uh, a, a piece of furniture, and I said, "You want to give me a hand?" And the guy went. Oh, you need <laughs> no. That's a good joke, huh? Yeah, come on, that was funny. You got to give me that one. Uh, no, the Miley Cyrus one was so funny. Oh yeah, it's just not twerking. Uh -huh, yeah, I, I, I made that one up. You like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because um, and did you hear um, Robin Thicke actually um, uh, said he might think about uh, dating Miley Cyrus, but he can't see through the blurred lines. Anyway, so yeah, good little uh, yeah, 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 you get that, yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. Too many blurred lines. Yeah. All right, what on. gave you the idea for all us comedians uh, to do to do our jokes on ice? Why comedy? Why on ice? Um, because it would be a lot more funny when they fall. It would make it time. funnier? Yeah. Alright, she says it will make it funnier. Yeah, because I'm really proud. It's a great idea you thought of, Chris. And we're happy. We're happy. Yeah. Very happy. Just out of curiosity, can you actually skate? Yes. Okay. Because lots of the comedians here on uh, Comedians on Ice can't skate. But we'll be back with more stuff. So, Joey, uh, like I told everybody, we're doing our comedy show, Comedians on Ice, where me, you, Ron, Chris, we all perform our stand-up routines on the ice. So, how do you feel about doing it on ice this year? I never year? agreed to any of this. Well, you were forcefully jilted because you owe money and back taxes to the IRS. I millions never, and millions. I don't know what you're talking Ever about. Ever since you and Mark bought that dragon, you guys took, you, you, the problem was, you guys tried to use it as a write-off, and they investigated. So, yeah. I didn't buy a dragon. You and Mark did. Anyway, well, but I mean, are you excited to be doing our roots, comedian routines on the ice? Uh, sure. Th yeah, it's fun. And like, basically, like I said, what we're going to do is we're just going to go on the ice there, 
skate around, uh, tell our jokes, all that, but it'll be on ice, comedians on ice. Do you feel it's something that'll catch on or just a one-time thing? I don't, I don't think it's gonna catch on. Well, you know what, Joey? Go screw a screw with a screwdriver. I've done that before. Okay, fine. Then go spend a nickel. Because uh -huh. nothing costs a nickel nowadays, so that's an insult, yeah. I, but I've already, I've spent a nickel. You know what? Forget you. It's comedians on ice. It's fun. It's festive. That's a white people word, festive. It's festive, and it's it's winter wonderland. You're about to poke this kid in the eye. I'm sorry. Way. I'm sorry, sir. Are you having a good time? No? Nope? Uh, no. Okay, sorry. <laughs> well... You know, I'm sure you got dragged here. Not everyone has a good time at a comedy show on ice. Who wouldn't? Anyway, we also have hot cocoa. You have a good time at comedies on ice? You don't? Okay. Anyway, we also have hot cocoa. All the proceeds go to go to smirk. Thank you. All the proceeds go to smirk. S save missions in Re Rihanna's... What? Knowledge. Save missions in Rihanna's knowledge. That's right, because Rihanna doesn't have much knowledge, you guys. <laughs> Especially with the umbrella. Eh, eh, eh. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Eh, eh, eh. So anyway, all the proceeds go from the tickets go here. What's the name? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. She doesn't even know her name. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so all the proceeds, yes, go to that charity. We keep none of the money. But Joey, thank you for talking with us. What kind of stand-up routines do you have planned on the ice today? Um... I, I was thinking about just blowing it all up. Really? Yeah. That'd be kind of a shock and then kind of a downer because we all die. What kind of jokes well, no. would you tell on ice? This, but this uh, cold ones. Cold jokes. Yeah, uh -huh. like like if you don't if you don't get on that ice and perform, the IRS is gonna freeze all your assets. That was stupid. That was good. Okay, no. Joey. Thank you. We look forward to seeing your uh, routines tonight. All right. We'll have more later. Thank Another thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's really cool about this, uh, can you guys see me? This comedy on ice, um, we're doing it tonight, and it's just gonna be so much fun. If you wanna come out, it's here at uh, the Chaparral Ice Skating Rink in Austin, Texas. We're gonna be doing this the rest of December, rest of January, just good, clean, fun comedy routines. Hey, good, clean, fun comedy routines, and on ice. We skate and tell jokes like this. We had to learn all this, so you guys better come out and buy tickets. Tickets are five bucks, not that bad. We had to learn all this, all right? Just letting you know. And just look at this crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you the crowd. Just look at the crowd. All the people who came out so far for today's uh, matinee show, and then we're going to have more shows tonight. Of course, it's going to be lots and lots of fun. Okay, uh, one of the jokes I'm going to do on the ice, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. I'm going to do a joke on the ice, Joey, about your uh, sweatshirt, if you don't mind. Dallas Cowboys, more like Dallas, how can they win all these games? Because they suck. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Okay, yeah. No. I like the Patriots, Mr. Tom Brady. Goodbye. I got the joke now. Dallas Cowboys. How about Dallas? How can they suck so bad, boys? Oh! Comedians, ladies and gentlemen, of comedy, comedians on ice, Ron. How does it feel to finally get to do our comedy show on ice in front of a crowd? It's chilly. Chilly, yeah. Ron, Ron, what kind of jokes do you have on the ice today for us with the crowd that came out? Well, uh, I didn't want to go too big, so I iced them down. Oh, yeah. Um, I like that. Yeah. You know, uh, Oh, no, I thought I had a joke. Anyway, yeah, but we're doing comedy, comedians on ice in front of this whole crowd. We skate, we tell jokes. It's great. Ron, we thank you for being a part of the tour, and uh, we'll get back with you later. I hope this doesn't freeze my career. Oh, yeah, that was good. Uh, no, it was lame. No, it was good. Uh, no, it was lame. Um, you get them from sitting on an unclean toilet. What was your uh, rebuttal, Joey? What was your rebuttal on that? Why don't you just clean the toilet? Why don't you just clean the toilet? Why don't I just punch you in the face, okay? It's all about getting your own toilet seat. This, These are the jokes that others will be telling tonight. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it really is the most wonderful time of the year. I just got asked to take a picture. That's right, while I was on the ice, I got recognized from my uh, web show that I do on YouTube, the Sketch Comedy Web Show, Laughing Skit Show. Check it out, it's funny stuff. Uh, well, yeah, I got recognized. They were like, excuse me, they were British. It was so cool, too. Excuse me, will you mind taking a picture with us? I was, And I thought they wanted me to take a picture of them together. And I was like, sure. They said, no, no, no. We recognize your comedy videos from YouTube. I was like, oh, sweet. So, yeah. The holidays really do bring people together globally and icically, as you can see here. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm in your way. Anyway, what's up? We're just having so much fun doing this, you guys, and uh, someone made a funny face at the glass. It's all good. So, comedy on ice, coming to a, or no, actually, we're going to be here in Austin the whole time, so it's cool.
Bye for now.